the supercomputer is alive. <laughs> Hey, what's happening guys? I went and I redid the supercomputer, you know, based on Big Clive's supercomputer design. This time, I did it on a PCB specifically designed for this that has individual resistors for each of the LEDs. A switch, so you can turn it on and off. I think it's pretty cool, and it's really easy. Let me show you how I made it. So this is a really simple PCB design. We need a power connector, a switch, some LEDs, and some resistors. So we'll start with our power connector. Oh, switch is no good. That needs to be a three. There we go. We'll stick it over there like that. We we'll just need to put a no connect on one of them. And we'll take pin one from our power connector. That goes to ground. Pin two feeds one side of the switch. other side of the switch goes to VCC then we're going to put in 40 LEDs in parallel copy Thought it would copy them both. Let's see if we can copy them both. One, one. I don't think it's doing it. Nope. Dag nab it. All right. So I got to copy each one 39 times. Hang on. All right. So there we got 40 LEDs and 40 resistors. Now we just need to connect them all up. You don't have to watch me do that. You get the idea. Okay, so those are all connected together. All we need to do now is connect that to VCC. Connect the ground there. And connect that one up to VCC. So everything is now connected. 40 LEDs with 100 ohm resistors in parallel. Power coming in over here. And a switch here. So let's make that into a PCB. Of course, I'm going to order these boards from PCB Way. They are the major sponsor of this channel, and I wouldn't use them if they didn't do a fantastic job and they were super fast. So all you need to do is click Instant Quote, do the quick order, upload your Gerber, fill in the boxes, and in about a week, you're going to get your PCBs back. Five days. That's incredible. From drawing through production to shipping from the other side of the world here into Appalachia in the US five days that blows my mind gotta hand it to them they're fast 
So there's our boards. That's the back side with the resistors. There's the front side with the LEDs. All right, so I spared you of having to watch me do all the soldering. It took me about 20 minutes to do it. It's it's not very hard. As you can see, I've got a, just a bit of a spacing problem. I thought I had them all even. I don't. We'll correct that in the uh, next spin of the boards. But uh, these are the LEDs that I used. How well you can see that there. Color blue, rated voltage 3 to 3.2 volts. And these are uh, self-blinking LEDs. They uh, blink at a rate of one and a half times a second. And you can see how I've got it in there. We've got our resistors on the back. I've got it hooked up to the power supply here. Set for 5 volts. And power it up. You'll see they'll all turn on at the, at the same time and they'll start blinking and within just a few seconds they will get out of sync which gives you that really nice random blinking effect. I like it. I think it's a, a pretty cool effect. It's not my design, you know, of course this was a, a blatant copy of Big Clive's, you know. I think the man is a genius. I like what he does, so I decided to make my own. And uh, one of my patrons, uh, Don Hiscock, asked if I would make a kit of these. I don't know if I'm going to make a complete kit, but these boards will be available for download. I'll put a link down below here where you can download the Gerbers and get them made, or you can just buy them from PCBWay. Um, you can get five of these for five dollars plus shipping you know you can't beat that <laughs> it's damn near free now I used uh, 100 ohm resistors because I wanted this to be relatively bright and if you figure that probably half of these are on at all times we're I'm looking at the power supply and we're getting a minimum of 160 milliamps to a max of 200 milliamps, about 207 milliamps. So that's pretty good. It's not going to uh, overload those quarter watt resistors. Definitely want to use quarter watt, don't use eighth watt. Um, really, that's about all there is to it. Now, uh, Barry down in Florida wanted me to make one of these with a voltage regulator on it. And I might do that for the next version. But I did put a switch, you know, so you could turn these on and off as you want. And I think on the next version, I'm going to make this into a 5x7 panel so you could actually put it into a, uh, no, I'm going to go 4x6. Uh, make it 4x6 so you can put it into a 4x6 uh, frame. Let me bring out the caliper here. Let's see what this, oh too small for my caliper or too big for my caliper what's the width I got on this 2.359 and let me get a ruler ah, how apropos a PCB way ruler and you can see we are looking at uh, almost four and three quarter inches so like I said if I make this fit in a uh, six by four frame I think that'll be pretty good so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet why not subscribe it doesn't cost you anything and when we get to 100,000 subscribers I'm gonna give it away a lot of stuff and you could get some of that for your very own self for free no matter where you're at in the world. It's my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel, being part of my family and my community here at Learn Electronics. All right? That's it. I'm out. Peace.